Consciousness is truly an amazing phenomenon. Now think about it. You, as this collection of atoms, obeying the laws of physics, can be aware. You're aware of your mental activity, of your emotional state, even of your external environment. That's right. Have you ever been so involved in a task such as writing a paper or playing a game that you've lost track of time? Or perhaps you've been daydreaming at work when you should really be working. Or have you ever wondered what happens when people take mind-altering drugs? These are all examples of questions related to the study of consciousness. Now, as you're going to see, consciousness can be measured on a continuum from fully conscious, for example, when you're awake and aware of your surroundings, to not conscious at all. For example, if you were in a coma and unaware of your surroundings. In fact, Greg has a personal example that he's going to share with us.